Well, in my art, I've always hoped that there's an opportunity to involve more people. They relate to the art and they feel happy about it, but to have them being involved in the creation of the art, I hope it actually makes them feel like more empowered. I feel that when we share stories like this, it gives an opportunity for the kids not just to learn about their heritage, but it's also um, a great opportunity when they go out to socialize and meet other people to be able to share stories because, you know, stories always bring people together. There are some differences in some of these folklores, so I, it creates a conversation for the kids. Who doesn't love a story, right? When we were having the workshop and the kids were, I mean, it was quite chaotic, they were running around, but it's so heartwarming to have kids run up and say, hey, I made this, look, I did this, and you can see the smiles on their faces, like, they're so happy. So generally, that's what I hope um, that these kids can actually be proud of and be happy about. It's like, I was proud of something bigger and I can do this. These kids, they're definitely digital natives because they're looking at their screens all the time. So when, when they're engaged with adults, this gives them an opportunity to shine. Then were coming up to me, it's like, and they were so curious. They are asking me questions like, how do you get the idea to do this? That's so cool. Like, how do you make this? And like, we were chit-chatting and I could really see the interest. And I really hope the interest uh, will grow. I feel happy and proud of myself when I'm doing this artwork. It looks beautiful and gorgeous. In the past, we used to engage vendors to design, fabricate and install lanterns on our lawn. But for this year, we decided on a different approach. We decided to actually engage youths in the co-creation of the moonflowers because we wanted to increase um, youth participation in heritage activities. We also wanted to increase our pool of youth volunteers. But more importantly, we hope to instill a sense of pride and a sense of achievement for our youth volunteers when they see the fruits of their labour. Very often when you do art installations, you never really quite know what is going to turn out until the very last minute. So I hope they enjoy themselves and they will be here to see the light as a bit and be really proud of what they have created. Through this lawn installation, we hope to attract more visitors to the Memorial Hall. We also hope that they'll take the time to actually wander through this luminescent garden and enjoy a mid-autumn experience quite unlike any other.